the best way to get a successful pricing setup is to break things down in very bite-sized pieces. For example, let's put up some cabinets that we, we know what the square footage or the size of the cabinet is. So I can click on Add Wall, just drag a wall up. We're going to put a simple top cabinet up. Let's just make it 12 inches wide by 12 inches high, which is one square foot. We know that. Or one lineal foot, however we want to do this. Let's go to Base Units. We'll go to a standard base cabinet. Let's make it 24 wide by 24 high. Now all we're doing is we know that that's four square feet. This is one square foot. That way when we go to look at our pricing and we're doing a footage, let's say pricing method, we can look at our pricing to make sure it's working the way we want it to. So if we go to price and I go to my oak pricing and I just want to see what these two cabinets are coming out as I could just click calculate and I'd see a price here the top cabinets coming out 178 and this is coming out 728 now what I would do is the 728 dollar one is the base cabinet I'd make a note of that and the 178 dollar one is the top now what I would do is I would just come in here click on it click edit and say to myself, why is it coming out that size? Well, under general, we can go to general setup. When we were originally setting this up, we had a choice of doing it by material and labor or by the foot cost. Right now, it's currently set to number two by the foot cost. Well, if I want to go right to my base cabinets, I just come to base cabinets and I look at it and I notice that my foot cost for a standard base should be $150. Well, four times $150 isn't seven hundred and thirteen dollars it's actually six hundred so what's going on well the best way to manage KCDW is to separate things and the way you do that is by going to the different sections and making sure under for example drawer setup that do you want to include drawer box costs with your cabinet say no make if it's separate it's a lot easier to understand what's going on uh, include your drawer guide cost no we don't want to include that the cabinet and we want to just make sure everything else is to figure the price of your drawer guides to be a fixed amount that's fine we'll go to doors here we go to door setup notice it says do you want to include door costs with your cabinet I'm gonna say no all right now once again I didn't go through all the areas but if I were to go check this we'd see that the price would be greatly reduced now there is a couple other areas you want to be aware of for example cabinets in the cabinet setup there's an area here where there's additional charges and right now it's set for one dollar additional per per foot of of adjustable shelf well we should put that to zero additional square foot charge for finish sides we should go over here and set that to zero knobs or handles we haven't even put on the cabinet so we shouldn't have to worry about that now when I come back here and I close program automatically saves that I can click on the oak and calculate that unit should come out six hundred dollars and if you notice it does notice the top cabinet came out 150 let's see if that's correct click on this and don't believe anything until you've checked it so we come up to cabinets we go to wall cabinets well notice 150 dollars right it's one square foot that's what it came out therefore we're understanding what's actually happening now I should also point out that this one has been set to lineal foot so it is different you could find that if it got to be more footage you know and we thought it was set for square foot well it isn't it's set for lineal so if we want it square foot we do need to click that here so once again it will do exactly what we tell it to do but if we're not checking ourselves or understand where the changes are being made it's kind of hard to set it up so once we've set these things up now when we go to do the true pricing on it and we click on this and let's just do a contract and calculate this is going to show it in a different format well it's going to also give us all our other subtotals but it does still break down the six hundred dollar base cabinet cost in the hundred and fifty dollar top cabinet but notice we have a charge for total door and drawer front cost drawer box cost and drawer guide cost now it would always be easier to make sure that we only had one cabinet up at a time if we're trying to figure out what our doors are pricing out as.
For example, we have an arch raise panel door here that's one square foot, or approximately. We can drag down here, drag that in the trash bin. We could double click on that. And I'm just going to cancel. Go to doors. And let's go to change all doors. Let's make it a square raise panel. Click OK. Go to pricing. Now when we want to look at that, we'll do countertops, contract, and we're just going to run that. You're going to notice that the door cost is 2479. Well, we can go in here, back to our pricing, and edit, go to doors, come down to the square door that we put up, the square raised panel, and we could do the math. Okay, it's $10 a square foot plus $15. Well, we thought it was one square, square foot of door, when in reality, if we looked at it, we'll close this, we have a dimension level for door size. It's really 11 and 7 eighths by 11 and 7 eighths, and we would find that the calculation is correct. This is just one of the many ways that you can set up your pricing successfully and, and use these tools, do little bite-sized pieces, and I think you'll find you're very successful in the long run.